but not forgetting the great Cartier who made this possible tonight, and thank you so much. I'm proud as an advocate to be standing in front of you, but more than anything else, we are joined here by amazing advocates such as Kweku Mandela, Ndaba Mandela, the, grandcho the grandchildren of our father, we used to call him our father, Utata Madiba, Nelson Mandela from South Africa, to create and fight this epidemic, but also to make sure that our children are born without HIV. You're probably wondering who am I, why am I standing in front of you? My name is Florence Ngobeni Allen. I'm a mother. I'm also HIV positive. And a few years ago, I was honored, not a few years ago, actually a long time ago, I was honored to be asked to become the ambassador for the Elizabeth Leisure Pediatric AIDS Foundation. I was firstly inspired to be an ambassador because of the story about the Elizabeth Leisure Pediatric AIDS Foundation, which was started by an incredible woman called Elizabeth Leisure. Elizabeth lost her child through AIDS. And back in those days, there was nothing that can be done about AIDS. Her story mirrored my story so much that as a woman, a young woman who didn't know that I had HIV, I passed HIV to my child unknowingly. Like Elizabeth, I lost my daughter. She lost her daughter, Ariel. I lost mine, called Numtunzi, a little girl who had eyes just like me, that I truly, truly love. But due to AIDS, I lost her. And I lost it not because I was a negligent mother. I lost it because I didn't know. Back in those days, there was no treatment for HIV. No one talked about it, and no one really wanted to do anything about it. Until I met the Elizabeth Leisure Pediatric AIDS Foundation, but with the help and honor of funders such as PAFA and the US government, they were able to make sure that no child can be lost due to HIV. As much as I had lost mine, I didn't give up. I wanted to make sure that no child would be born with HIV. I was given a chance to work as a counselor. And as a counselor, one of my biggest jobs was to counsel women and encourage them to test for HIV. I was also given a chance that um, I could make sure that these women understand what is HIV. And back in 1997, my story was the only hope that I gave to women that I worked with. Nomtunzi, my daughter, passed away in 1997 in February, and she was only five months old. I think if she was here tonight, she would be probably wearing such a lovely dress like yours because she will be 19 this year. And I think she was going to be as tall, prettier, but more than anything else, she would be dancing to Nico and Vince tonight. So you missed the chance. <laughs> Losing a child is not an easy thing. For all these years, it feels like it happened yesterday. The pain that women go through losing HIV losing their children from HIV is one reason that I'm still standing. I took up a role to make sure that no child will be born without HIV. During this peak in 19, 1997, as I said, there was no treatment and there was little understanding about the virus. There was no access to treatment, no medication. Our voices, and I say our voices because we used to run these support groups. And as you know, Africans, we sing, whether we're in pain or we're happy. And we used to share the stories about HIV. And regardless, we had had an honor to be given a chance to not just talk about HIV, but to also know that something can be done. With the help of the Elizabeth Leisure Pediatric AIDS Foundation, PEPFA, and the US government, 
we were able to give medications to women. And guess what? I was there to give the results to women about their children being born HIV negative. I always looked forward to going to work because I knew that the next child born will be HIV negative. And it made me so happy. There was little that can make me happy. It made me happy to know that there is something that can be done. The joy in their lives made me think, why not? Why can't I try? Of course, you need a husband or boyfriend to have a baby. And I was given a chance to be married again, regardless of losing my daughter and my husband to HIV.